God's peace be with you. Welcome to our Advent devotional for Thursday, December the 17th. Today's devotional is based on the book of, Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in the Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. He came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her who, who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. The angel departed from her. So our Advent devotionals were produced by Luther Seminary in Minnesota. What's in a greeting? And how shall one respond to a surprising visitor? Well, it all depends, especially if that greeting comes in an angelic form. Mary is at least in good company. Luke's story has carefully structured a response to mirror that of Zechariah. She is terrified and full of fear. But tucked in the angel's greeting is a clue to what's going on here and the one thing that has power to transform that fear. Greetings, favored one. For you have found favor with God. As the saying goes, the story loses a little bit in the usual translation. In the original Greek, the word translated favor is actually the word grace. It is as if to say, Mary, you have been graced by the presence of God. For us too, that is the greeting that calls for our response as we stand in this fourth week of Advent. The surprising good news of grace is the presence of God transforming our fears into the joy of God's wonderful promise at Jesus' birth. Let us pray. Merciful God, may we hear in your word of promise the surprising note of grace that has the power to transform our fears into a welcome joy at your visitation. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for the, today's Advent devotional. And thank you for joining me at, for the other sessions in, in this de devotional series. And I hope you join me again tomorrow as we close out our week. Till next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you're in public, wear a mask. God bless.